Hello, welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Jim in Vegas. Today's date is March 14th, 2019, and Miss Vegas is going to give us our watch list. Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. So we're going to talk about ATOS, CHK, CNAT, and CVRS. And our very first one, obviously, is ATOS. What a great move today, Atosa Genetics. Well, you know what? Atosa Genetics is into breast cancer uh, therapeutics. They had news today, and the news this morning was that um, they had approval from the FDA for the expanded access for this drug uh, called an oral ex U.S. breast cancer therapy. So they're very excited that not only the patients benefited prior to surgery, but the FDA agreed that continued treatment with this drug uh, pre-menopausal patients. So that's interesting. Um, so this is an interesting treatment. And I think obviously the market was very happy about the news. I think this is great for the breast cancer um, sector because you know I hear it too many times um, that people have this uh, unfortunate situation. And uh, I think this is great news to hear that there's going to be some sort of drug that can help with this uh, treatment. So that's great. Uh, and as a result of this kind of news, the market did respond. I mean, we saw this stock open this morning. I mean, this stock previously closed, believe it or not, at $1.51. And this went as high as this had a major squeeze uh, app, um, just before the close, and it was just on fire. And when the market opened, I mean, I only traded the stock uh, when the market opened. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of, of pre-market trading. Um, it's just not really my forte, not really my style. So I waited till the market was open. And as soon as it opened, you know, shortly after, uh, I as soon as the trade was active, I said to the people that, you know what? I'm going to hold the stock at least was kind of like the target that I was looking for throughout the day. And you know what? That happened. And it took a while, but it, the stock did hit the six. And, um, you know, congratulations to everyone that banked on the stock. And you know what? You could have even scalped this so many times today. But, um, let, you know, it, was, it took time. Like, I mean, the whole afternoon, the stock you know, the Bollinger Bands, you know, had opened wide open during the breakout this morning. But then, you know what, around, I would say, I guess around 1042-ish, 10.45, you know, the, the stock was simmered down and it was almost like in big consolidation. And it looked like to me the shorts were shorting the stock. And I thought, hmm, you know what, they're going to get a squeeze later on. Dead on with that call because they got squeezed big time. So congratulations to all the bulls that traded the stock. And over to Jim on this chart because I'd like to hear your thoughts on what's happened here. And and we might see a pullback. So this should still be on people's watch list. Um, it's had a nice run today, but it could, you know, have some uh, pullbacks as well. So, Jim, over to you. Oh, yes. Well, this is a beautiful call by Miss Vegas this morning in the room. We reached the yearly highs on this thing today. It did have a huge breakout this morning. As you notice, you can see in the yearly chart here. And we had the yearly high up here around 756, and we hit a high of right around 740, 739. And I was charting this out all the way into the day. So let's look at the day, 20 day real fast. And you can see that it did kind of consolidate in that 20 day period. And then today, when she broke out from that 150 area, she ran all the way up pre market to about 630. And then she did pull back right at opening and I'm going to pull up the daily chart the daily chart will tell the story I'll make this into a three minute and it'll be a little bit easier to read so we did run up to this previous high of about 631 and we did have these three black crows that came into the scene she settled down at support level and that support carried on through about an hour it came, it's came down to about 450 448 and I called the 448 support in the room a couple of times because it did bounce up to the pivot point of around um, six about 516 and hit that 448 bounced up again a little higher pulled back to that five 448 
ran up and hit that little channel so I, I flagged this little channel that was going on pre-market and I said this is probably what we're going to look at and I was excited about this trade right from the get-go early this morning I noticed it right at six o'clock that this thing was moving so we did like she said consolidate into a an ascending triangle pattern and it did squeeze out and when it hit the final squeeze there it did pull back and I got back in this trade down here at this level at 472 and ran it up to almost five and then I sold it and then I got back in it and I sold it here up here at this next resistant level at six bucks and then we called this flag out and I said we're getting ready for another big breakout and it did kind of pull back after the flag so it didn't take off right then but it did bounce up and we and this had the great volume to go ahead and continue the rest of the day into the after hour market of 774. She pulled back and run into the 20 and also run in and then just went a little bit under that 20 SMA and then here after hours right now we're looking at 695 so we're still bullish on this stock and if it's anything like we've seen before they will pull back a little bit to support level come tomorrow morning and then I'll get in on what I would call a dead cat bounce and I'm gonna call that support level right around six dollars and that's gonna be right here on this trend line right here where we had that previous high throughout the day and then maybe you'll have that first support right in here around the 646 level so these are gonna be two ranges I'm gonna be looking at and I'll probably play the dead cat bounce on ATOS and that was a wonderful call in the room Everybody in the room is starting to get it now. I think um, we've had a couple members even talk about it's going to keep going. You know, they were encouraging me, of all people, and so was Miss Vegas. And she was, from the get-go, said this thing was going to hit 6 bucks, and that was a $2 bounce for her. So congratulations to the room, and the next one we're going to talk about will be CHK. Okay, so CHK, you know, we talked about this the other day. Um, in our video, I mean, today's Thursday, but we didn't do a video yesterday. We did this on, we talked about this though. Uh, let me just tell you guys, you know, we, we talked about CHK um, on, let me just see here. I thought we talked about this on Sunday night or Monday, but yep. uh, we did talk about Chesapeake Energy. And um, one of the things we did say was that energy stocks were looking really strong and pretty hot. And you know what? I still think the stock is bullish. Um, but what I want to talk about really on Chesapeake uh, stock is not just the stock, and Jim will talk about the chart, but, you know, we took advantage of the fact that the stock was very bullish, so we decided to look at some option ideas. So we did look at some option calls. We bought $3 calls. Jim can show you that right there. Um, this is really great for small accounts. Um, you know, we bought $3 calls. I got 10 of them. And they were five cents each, so I really just spent fifty bucks. And uh, it's my second time buying option calls on CHK. I had good success last time, and I was really confident with this particular uh, option trade. So, um, anyways, got ten, spent fifty bucks, and now that fifty dollars has turned into one hundred and fifty, which Jim can show you right now. Um, have not closed this trade whatsoever, and. Um, We'll definitely be looking to obviously take some profits. And I still have until March 22nd. So I'll see how it does tomorrow. And probably will look to take the money and run and just look at to go on to the next trade. But I still think Chesapeake Energy is still bullish. Uh, I did see some good buying today in the stock. And, you know, it hasn't really moved like that much. I mean, it only moved, you know, like 10 cents the whole day. Uh, it looks like it's, you know, under accumulation. It's had good volume, like 39.86 million shares. You know, even after hours, some very nice volume here after hours, um, some a, a couple block buys here. But still, um, CHK is, uh, to me, more of a swing trade, not really so much a day trade because it just really just does not move that fast. So if you're patient and you're like a swing trade, I think Chesapeake Energy should be one that you may like and may consider. But of course, you know, you do your own due diligence. Um, Jim, over to you and tell us about uh, Chesapeake Energy, please. Oh, yes. Um, I want to welcome one of our new members to the room, Chad from Trend Spider. He helped chart us out, 
chart this out this weekend for us and we talked about it and this is CHK so what we had here and I really love this play we, we seen it in a channel and I'm gonna pull this up to a 20 day well let's pull it up a little bit longer because it's we pull it up here to a 90 day and we had this little channel that we were talking about in the room and we noticed that every time it ran up this line it pulled back and it bounced up so and we had a target on this trade for three dollars and twenty cents that was our initial target and it can go up higher as you see on this 180 day it hit a high of 387 so but once we hit that trend line we all discussed it and we said yeah this is good for a bounce play and I've got into the options too and I sold mine today I had a pivot point on this trade right here at the 288 area and I said once it broke that 288 we're gonna go ahead and go up to 3 and maybe hit that 321 320 area so we still have room to go it did pull back just a little bit to this trend line right here at 207 I mean 307 but we did have a high today and I'm gonna pull up the daily daily one minute we did have a high today where it had a triple top of 312 and it did pull back to support level here at 307 after hours I'm still bullish on it to hit that 320 mark and I'm pretty sure we'll do it and this is CHK and I want to thank Chad again from Trend Spider for helping us chart this out in the room and the next one we're going to talk about is something keg. that everybody likes keg that's right now you know if you guys especially those of you that listen to the videos uh, on a regular basis I've been talking about keg um, since actually the uh, I would say earlier this month I have it down I have noted it down here and um, you know we talked about keg when it was at three dollars and ten cents and it's just kept keeps on kegging along and uh, I am very impressed with this stock and this is just another one I mean this is another energy stock this in the same space as Chesapeake energy like that's why I said energy stocks are doing very well right now and this is another example so keg as well today um, I did alert this today during the day with the group and I did talk about uh, keg and I did tell the day traders you know if you're not in the trade in the swing trade because there's people that are still in it um, you know I did alert it here at four dollars and 37 cents earlier today and look where we are I mean we're at five bucks so you know what I'm happy with that even for a day trade I'd be ecstatic so congratulations to those traders and especially if you're a, a, a YouTube follower uh, and you don't day trade you know which we really try to give you ideas to look at for swing trades this would have been a really good one like we're talking almost two dollars a share now from like less than two weeks ago so congrats to you guys and I want to hear more about the keg Jim because I'm still liking it we like keg so here's the the chart on keg and I'm gonna pull up the year's chart and Vegas had talked about this the other day let me pull up the year we had this has had a real hard sell-off real hard sell-off from 1840 all the way down to 159 and uh, and I want to make a correction here first it's not Chad from trend spider it's Jake so I do want to give that apology out I go through so many names and I do apologize for that but here we are on keg it did have a big pullback from 1840 all the way to 159 and we had a, a, we hit that five dollar level today and so the next resistance is we got and I'm gonna again pull this back to that yearly chart you see how we had that real hard sell-off and we hit did hit that five dollars right here so the next resistance is we got on this stock is going to be around 536 to 578 I still think it has a bullish trend we are on an upbeat path for about 15 days here and so that's the way I'm looking at keg right now we're going to we broke past the 100 SMA and we're going to move on up and I do believe this resistance up here at 578 is going to be very hard and the next one we're going to talk about and let me pull it just up to the day just see if I missed anything here yeah we did hit my 505 resistance today and that was a pretty good little mark so I'm going to add the trend line right here to 513 if it does pull back 
it'll pull back to 486 and then bounce back up and hit that double top and that's going to be keg and the next one we're going to talk about is cnat yeah so cnat's looking really nice and so i want to tell you guys a little bit about uh cnat and uh we thought jim thought earlier i was talking about cnet and i'm like no 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 c n a t so i want to make a, that clear so that's called conatus um pharmaceuticals they're into the healthcare biotech you know the float on that one is uh 29.15 million uh the short floats about 11 percent and um you know this company here they're into uh prevention of liver diseases and they had i believe um a presentation not too long ago i be, uh, i think it was yesterday they they did a presentation here and there was some news on it uh the company is located out in san diego they just basically talked at the international liver congress uh in vienna austria and um they're going to be there actually sorry they didn't talk they announced that they're going to be talking there on april 10th to the 14th so that's actually good um and you know like i said they are into the treatment of chronic diseases and uh they also have a collaboration this is really important to know they do have a collaboration with novaritis and um you know they are looking you know to, for the treatment with the nash driven chronic liver diseases so you know they have a little bit of a you know partnership so that's good and um we did talk about uh this particular stock today in live chat and we actually even talked about this one yesterday too and uh this is for me still a good swing trade idea this was alerted today during the day at uh 303 and where are we now we're a little bit lower here at 280 but there's been some nice after hour buying here um around 97,000 shares i still like it from a weekly perspective um the stock also we did just we did talk about this yesterday from paula uh it's an ongoing swing because the original idea was really from yesterday at 264. so uh still holding this uh position for some people if they like a swing trade but you know i think i'm looking for this stock to continue um the channel that it's in so jim what do you see on this chart here well what i see it is kind of a consolidated period today a little bitty pullback and it kind of consolidated in a channel i'm going to look up the year chart real fast i always like to test that out first we are on an uptrend we did have a nice three-day bounce on this and then you need some time to consolidate a little bit and we got a big gap to fill right here all the way to 329 and that's where I'm going to put that trend line so we did have a resistance it did kind of bounce up after hours up to and did break out uh, pre-market to 306 so that's where I'm going to put that little we'll bring us up to a daily three minute and then we'll put a trend line right here at 306 so that's the target we got to break we did consolidate pretty good today it did kind of bust up a little bit to right around this area of 296. And then I see another trend line here right around three bucks. So I'm going to put one right there. And this is the way I'm seeing it right now. I think we pulled back enough. If it does pull back any at all, it's going to be at 277. And then we're going to ride on up and we're going to break this resistance at 306 and try to fill that gap that I was talking about. And that is CNAT. And I am bullish on the company. And the next one we're going to speak of is going to be CVRS. Yeah, so let's talk about CVRS. I mean, I love the stock right now. It's another healthcare, and they're into medical appliances and equipment. This is called Corindus Vascular Robotics. That's why it's called CVRS. And they had a nice new 52-week high. Now, this float is massive, massive float. So you cannot compare this to stocks like ATOS. Um, or any other stocks that you see out there that have a much lower float, but they have an amazing, cool website. I mean, Jim, I don't know if you could show that website, but, um, you know, they're into the ro robotics, uh, which is really great, which um, they're into like the catheter labs. And they also have a partnership with the Apex Heart Institute in India. And they did a, the first uh, completion of the human telestenting case series. And it's a robotic intervention. So this is really interesting 
uh, company and vascular robotics is definitely becoming more and more um, popular. And uh, this company is very involved in this kind of industry. So this is one to watch. Um, I just wanted to just see here. Um, they did also provide uh, their uh, fourth quarter results as well. And uh, they did mention that they did have revenue uh, during the fourth quarter of uh, 4.7 million. They did mention they had an increase of 12%. And uh, they also did mention that they're going to expand globally uh, their uh, a company expansion, which includes uh, India, the Middle East, and also in Singapore. They're also looking to launch programs in Japan and Australia. And they also received an order for the first quarter of 2019, which is, you know, encompassing the month of March, for the first system to be installed in Europe at the Clinique Pasteur in Toulouse, France. So that is going to be happening. They've also submitted a pre-market clearance with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, for a neurovascular intervention indication for the core path GRX. So if they get this approval, they will become, this is really important now, they will become the world's first and only robotic platform indicated for the use in PCI, parenchymous vascular intervention and neurovascular intervention. So to be the first in the world is going to be big if they get this FDA clearance and they have submitted this for approval. Um, the other thing too is um, they've also have advanced partnership discussions to co-develop and commercialize the robotic platform with remote capabilities, okay? So this is gonna be really big uh, if this can go through FDA. Personally, for me, I am not in this trade at all, but I gotta tell you, I'm gonna start doing some more due diligence on this company. One of the reasons is because I like what they're involved in, robotics technology, I love that the fact that if they do get the FDA clearance, that they'll be the first in the world. So to be first is amazing. But the other thing too, um, you know, longer term, I think the robotics industry is going to be very, very popular and become more advanced. I mean, can you imagine you could be a surgeon in another country that is doing surgery on a patient through robotics remotely and the robot's doing all the work but you, the surgeon, doing it from another location to a patient lying on the table. I mean, that is just insane. Like, that, like what is happening here? Uh, medical technology is just going to be so advanced. And uh, that's just incredible. Um, or maybe you could be assisting. Like, if you're the surgeon, maybe you could be assisting another surgeon with their robotics. So this is just amazing. So uh, definitely keep this on watch. Their cash on hand. Uh, for a period ending December 31st, 2018, was $23.8 million. They did uh, provide, uh, complete a private placement, which helped them raise an amount of $19.8 million in gross proceeds. So this company has room for potential expansion. And I love the 52-week highs. So I think there's going to be a continuation here. Longer, longer, longer term, you guys should do your own due diligence and see what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to tell me your thoughts on this stock, you can message me, Vegas at ilovestocks.com. I'd love to read and hear your comments or comment on our videos below and let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'm not in the stock. I'm going to look into it and I'm going to consider a position. If I do take one, I'll definitely share it with you. But as of now, I'm not in the stock. Okay, Jim, over to you. Oh, that was a beautiful presentation, Miss Vegas. Thanks. Um, here we are at 166. For a year high, we broke out of that today. We have a little support down here of a previous breakout of right around 149 and this 156 to this 161 area. So I'm using this here as a low support at the 149 level, and I'm going to pull up the three year chart and look at it just to see what I'm missing out on. And I am missing out on a few things. We have a resistance right here at a 180. Then I see another one right up here, which is really kind of a triple top, right around the 190, 190, oh, let's get tight with it, 190, and it could go up to 192, 
with a three year high of 225 and I'm going to put that right there so that'll be a target too then we have another little double top right in here right around the 203 area so that was pretty easy to chart up actually it's a really good looking chart especially when we had the low support down here at this area of one of 78 cents and right now we ran from 78 in a matter of less than three weeks three trading weeks up to 176 so I do believe we're going to hit this top right here at 190 and if we do that this could be a new new breakout to 203 to 225 and to me for what this company does the stock sounds like it's very inexpensive and that's going to be CVRS so let's bring it up to the 20 day and let's look at the 20 day so she's had a nice little roller coaster ride up we've had lower highs and higher highs three higher highs and three lower highs so that's beautiful and then today was a real the last two days the stocks ran from 143 all the way up to 176 and I'm going to put a trend line right there for a resistance breakout so now we're going to figure out where this thing can pull back and I'm thinking maybe to this vicinity right in here at the 169 170 level I'd like to see that hold if it doesn't it can pull back to this 156 and you know that that's not too hard fetched to believe either because it did break out of that 156 pre-market so that's a 20 cent hot so 20 cent bounce right there and I do like this chart a lot I mean for for a penny scalp or or even for a long position hold and if I wanted to do that I'd like to see it pull back a little bit and then buy me a swing trade on it and that's going to be and let's bring it up to the daily just have a look at the daily and see what it looked like look at that see that's pretty that's actually beautiful we had this one put a trend line right here at 158 and adjust that low support so I'm looking at one right here too at 163 so this is how I look at it and I'm gonna put another trend line right in right right there at 173 so I want to see a pullback, if any at all, to this 169 level. That'll be your first support. And then if that don't hold, I want to go down to a low support right down here, right around 158, with a pivot point, second support at 163. So we're looking at 158, 163, and then this one, um, probably about this one, yeah, this 169, 170 area. Those are my three supports. You feel free to stop this video at any time and write these numbers down. You're allowed to copy and paste them for your own reference points if you're wanting to watch this stock. And that's CVRS. And again, I just want to thank everybody for watching the aftermarket report with us and be sure to, to subscribe and ring that bell. And Ms. Yeah, Vegas, I just want to mention too, um, before we go, I just want to mention too about this stock. You know that we're talking about the CVRS. I mean, mm -hmm. they are going to be on quite a few road shows, so don't be surprised. We'll hear more about this company. Uh, they they were at an event earlier today. Um, they had an event. Uh, I believe it was here in New York City. Um, they had an event there. They also have. Um, uh, let's see. They have a, a couple events coming up. So they have one in uh, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, though, um, at the Four Seasons Hotel in April. They're also going to be at the Cosmo Hotel in Vegas um, presenting at the Scientific Sessions event. And then they're going to be in uh, Palais des Congrès in France at the Euro oh, event. Wow. So this is amazing. This company is going to be on tour. And, you know, even if um, you're thinking about this company, I mean, you got to go to this website. I mean, I'm just amazed uh, at, what, at what they do with the robotics and how they can the the doctor can help guide catheters and make sure that they're positioned uh the stents properly like this is just incredible technology so uh it's just an amazing website and i just think i'm just going to look into it more because i'm so intrigued by this technology and uh i think longer term we could see uh something happen with this with this company so this is definitely going to be something i'm going to do some more due diligence on and i'd love to revisit this maybe in the next couple of weeks and we'll see how this is going. But uh, thanks Jim for the um, targets here of 203 and potentially 225. You're welcome, so uh, I'm definitely going to looking to at least swing trade it, but in terms of a longer hold, I'll definitely keep it in mind. 
So thank you on that. And I want to thank everyone for listening to and tuning in. And uh, thank you so much for visiting our room for the free trial. Uh, you're welcome to come. I've had people even say I, I work a job and I, you know, I don't really have time to be in a room. This is not your typical room. Um, there's also a lot of swing trade ideas shared. A lot of educational information is exchanged even late at night. Uh, there's people in the room helping and, and talking about uh, charts. So even if you have a job during the day and you're looking to interact and engage and ask people their thoughts, there's always people in the chat room so helpful, willing to help. And, uh, you know, it gives us pleasure to know that we're helping people. And that's why we're very passionate, Jim and I, about what we do. Um, if you are considering to come to the trial, you can see for yourself, you know, it really is based on your user experience here. If you decide if you want to be part of this uh, group, uh, again, that's why it's a free trial, because there's no risk involved on your end, uh, except your own actual time to see if it's worth your while. So that's why we like to give the trial, because we don't want to uh, charge anyone for anything. Um, unless they feel it's of value to you. And, you know, our room has a lot of, you know, real-time voice all day. We do uh, scanner sharing. Uh, you know, we're coaching during the day. It's almost like you're in a uh, stock market school, like a class. And I've had so many people be so happy. Um, I just want to tell a quick story. A stock twits person that messaged me the other day and said, oh my gosh, I'm stuck in this trade. Can you help me? And I said, well, you know what? It's just easier if you just come into the room. I mean, you don't have to join. It's, you're going to come in for free. I said, it's just easier. I can help you in real time. I can't help you on social media because you know, I'm focused with the group. And you know what? This person, uh, very happy today, made, I think he mentioned $479. Yep. He traded Shaq. And so he's definitely uh, shocking the money today. So I'm happy to hear that uh, he's uh, his energy level, his his uh, focus is more positive. He feels very appreciative. Jim helped him a lot today, and uh, you know what? If he if he ends up subscribing, great. If he doesn't, it so honestly it does not bother us. We're just happy to help people. So that's what we're here for. So I hope you guys understand that that's our goal and purpose. So thank you again, and have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, and I again want to thank Jake for charting up chk for us and we're going to close this off with the after uh after market report with vegas and jim today's dates march 14th 2019 and we love stocks <laughs>